guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I am going to do a dewy, summertime, easy, fun look that's dewy. <laughs> I just wanted to do a look with a lot of highlighter and a lot of glow and just a nice, fun summertime look. So this is what I came up with. I didn't do any falsies because my eyes are acting up again. But if you would like to see how I did this look, please keep watching. So to start off, I'm going to use Sonia Kashuk Concealer Palette. I forgot exactly what this concealer palette was called. It looks like this. I'm going to go into this green color right here and I'm just gonna put that right on my top lip and around my nose. I'll put it right on top of my scar here too. Why not? Okay, and then the next product I'm going to use is a MAC foundation. It's the Studio Fix Fluid, and it's in the color C 4.5. Since I went to Mexico, I got super tan, so this color actually matches my skin now. And I'm just gonna take a damp beauty blender and just pat this in. After I put my foundation on, I'm going to use the Shape Tape from Tarte, and this is in the color Light Medium. Um, with this stuff, a little bit goes a very, very long way, so I don't really like smear it around. I just put a dot here, dot here on top of my forehead and on my chin, and I really, really blend this out well because this stuff, um, it has kind of a quick dry time, so you have to work with it pretty quickly. I do want to set the concealer that's under my eye, so I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana and just press that right under my eye. And then I'm going to take a big old fluffy brush just like this. I'm just going to press that in. I really don't want to set this um, a whole lot because I want to keep it kind of dewy looking. So let's start with our eyes. I'm going to go into my Modern Renaissance palette and pick up the color Raw Sienna, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to lightly put this in my crease. I'm not doing anything super, super crazy. And then I'm gonna take Warm Taupe, which is this color right here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Just lightly, lightly blend that into my crease. After we do our crease colors, I'm going to go into my Smolder Loose Glam Dust, and this is the color Sorbet. And it's a very peachy color, so that's the color right there. Hopefully you can see it. So yeah, I'm just gonna tap some onto the lid and just with my finger, I'm going to spread this right across my lid. For my inner corner, I am going to take a little bit of this Dazzle Lock and I just put it on the back of my hand and I'm just taking a teeny, teeny, tiny amount. That's all that's on my hand. And I'm going to put it right on the inner corner of my eye. I'm not making it go in my eye, so just be careful that you're not shoving it into your eye. But I'm just tapping this right into my inner corner. All right, and then while that's still wet, I'm going to use another um, Smolder Cosmetic product, and this is their Gold Lime. That is that color right there. Here it is. That is Gold Lime right hand. So I'm going to put that right in the inner corner of my eye. Just going to tap this on. All right, and then I'm going to throw some mascara on, and the mascara I use is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I am not going to put any false lashes on because my allergies are really bothering me today, and sometimes when I put false lashes on, they really, really, for some reason, it's not the eyeshadow, it's not anything else, it's the false lashes that really get my eyes to water, so I'm not gonna put any on. I'm just gonna throw some mascara on, I'll be right back. For some highlighter under my brow bone, I'm going to take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, which I have basically murdered, and I'm just going to run my finger in that and then stick it right under my brow bone. For my contour, I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm going to use this color right here. And I'm going to run this right under my cheekbone and blend it out. Then I'm also going to take that color and put it on my forehead and around my temples and then under my jawbone. Alright, so for blush, I'm going to take this Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore and I'm going to use a very broken blush brush because I can't find the one that I normally use. I don't know where the hell it's at. 
Then I'm gonna put this right on the apples of my cheeks. I don't use a lot of blush. So for highlight, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid. And I'm gonna put some right on my beauty blender. And then I'm gonna put it on the highest points of my cheekbones, right here. Tip of my nose, back over here. And I'm gonna really want to blend that out. All right, and then on top of that strobing liquid, I'm going to use the Smolder Cosmetics Highlighter, and this is the Golden Glow Illuminator, and it looks like this. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna take a flat brush just like this, which is also broken, and I'm gonna dip right into that and just pat it right over that liquid illuminator. After we get all our highlight on, the last thing we need to do is lipstick, and I'm going to use the NYX Matte Lipstick in the color Whipped Caviar. This lipstick has been destroyed because I left it in my car and it melted. So, sorry it looks like Frankenstein lipstick. And then on top of this lipstick, I'm going to go back in with my highlighter, the Golden Glow Illuminator. And I'm just gonna run my finger in that and just tap it right on the end right here. Blend it in, and then up here. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I probably should have used some lip gloss. However, I just I really don't like lip gloss. I don't like the way it feels on my lips. I feel like it just like, packs them down and I just, I don't know, I don't like the way it feels on my lips, which is why I used a matte lipstick, which is kind of odd for this look. I totally understand that, but if you want to use lip gloss, by all means do so. I just, I just can't stand the feeling of it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Please stay safe and happy and I will see you next time. Bye!